By the end of this video, you will be able to say, I can expand polynomials. You have already learned how to use the box method to expand binomials. These are binomials because there are two terms in the parentheses. Now we will learn how to use the box method to expand polynomials. These are things that have more than two terms in the parentheses. Here we have two expressions that we are supposed to write in expanded form. This time we have one binomial because it has two terms and then we have one that has three. We are going to use the box method to expand this. The box method basically is used the same way except this time we just need to draw a bigger box. On this side we can put the binomial so there are two different boxes going down and then across the top there are going to be three for the polynomial. So I write each of my numbers above each of the boxes and then I just multiply each term by the other. So 2x squared times x is 2x to the third. 4x times x is 4x squared. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. On the bottom row I would get negative 3 times 2x squared, negative 6x squared, negative 3 times 4x, negative 12x, and then negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. The nice thing about the box method in this case is that it lines up our like terms, so it makes writing out my simplified exp expression way easier. So if you look here, I'm going to have my x squared diagonal and my x's so that when I write them out, I'm going to get a nice easy way to combine them. So 2x to the third, that one does not have anything to combine with, I will combine that diagonal, negative 6x squared, and a 4x squared would be negative 2x squared negative 12x and negative 5x is negative 17x and then I just have the 15. So this is my expanded form of the expressions. Go ahead and try this one on your own first before you see what the answer is. Pause the video, try it, and then turn it back on to see if you got it right. So here it is with the box method expanded out. One thing that I want you to check to see if you did right is if you use the signs from here, the negative 4x and the negative 2, and you put them here in front of the numbers here. This is a common mistake that people often forget the sign in front of the number. So now all I have to do is do my combining. So looking at the diagonals, the 6x to the fourth doesn't have anything to combine with. My x to the third power I can combine to get negative 5x to the third. My diagonal here with x squared I would have negative 4, a negative 4, and a negative 15. So when I combine that together I'm going to end up with negative 23x squared. My x's would be a positive 18x and then the 10. Hopefully you got that right. If you have any questions please ask your teacher. Otherwise go on and work on some of the problems in your learning plan.